Hello everyone, and welcome back to Probably Getting Wrecked. Pain and suffering. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, it only took you one death to actually figure out how to dodge. There you go. Ow. Back. Oh, yeah, that's a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, probably should have done them from the beginning. The best. Didn't really think about it. Alright. Kalia. Leader of the race of snakes. Born and cut off from the lower half of first child. It may appear to have a human body, but its real form is a seven headed snake. It controls the bodies of the humans to protect itself. The tip of its staff is as hot as fire. It was rather painful. Yeah, it's about as pleasant as it looks. The Black Dragon Nidhogg dwells at the root of Roots of Yggdrasil. The path forward will not reveal itself to the weak. Venture forth with strength. So basically killing him will actually open uh, the gate up there. And more importantly, that's the guild sound. Hmm. Yeah, we need them. Oi! I haven't really? killed one of you yet. The Behemoth. The Behemoth is a bipedal, elephant-like monster. A master of yoga, he can solidify his flesh, float upwards, and stretch his body. This is the original from which the La Mulana version was copied. The original is far thinner than the copies due to fat in their depravity. You don't say. Things I did not expect to see today. Yoga elephants. I mean, it makes sort of sense. Not sure why I'm even bothering to kill those, but. Doing guitar rips, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we probably need this, didn't we? It would come in handy. We. Oh, I should probably get them. No ghosts. The mantra harnessing Alf hidden relic, the jet pillar. It is fated to be swallowed by Kujata, the guardian of Lokapala creation. Yo, you about dead? Yup. <clears throat> Absara. Apsara, spirit that takes the form of a beautiful dancer. Apsara are said to wake the souls of the dead with their dance and manipulate them at will. They are also said to impede the training of any human who seeks the power of the gods. They drop an earth spear. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need some of those too. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those. Yep. Oh. Well done. Try not to die. Oh, don't worry. There aren't any spikes down here. That would be the biggest worry. <laughs> that and that. The more powerful of the Alpha Prof possess the gift of clairvoyance. Their efforts to preserve their prophecy for Eglana test the limits of their defiance against the mother's influence. Yeah, remember how the special tablets are called the Elf Seer's Prophecy? Hmm. So, you know, you know who made it. Also, there's that pedestal we set free. And if we do this... 
Man, that was a lucky jump. We get the shop. And yeah. we get this. Stuff I found a good. Never mind. Mm hmm. This stuff I found on the ground. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Hello. He's got a rubber duck. Yep. What does the snapshot do? The thing that lets you take pictures of the background oh. to scan it. Literally useless. You say that we, we've already found two big tablets that we need it for. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Anyway, Pim. Pim. A low life, happy to sell on items you stole or happened to pick up. Be careful not to let your memento of a, of a certain someone get ripped off. Tribe, yeah. loca pala. Which tribe was that? From, it's from the six children. Well, obviously. Also, you know, I'm just mentioning that to say that... To get you some idea of what to expect from the Loca Pala in general. Hmm. Anyway... We got Azir, Vangir, Loca Pala... And the Alfro. Those are the four yeah, tribes we've seen just from the six children. <laughs> anyway, let's go back down. Yes, the six children who are totally and completely dead. Igual en la Mulana. Welcome to the Lance of Exalto. Oh, yeah, we did get that. Alright, uh, then we open the way down. But first... Mm -hmm. We can open this now. Mm. Ha! Finally found a boat, boat down here. Let me just get it down. Oh. Move out. No. I was hoping I, w I could get the timing right. I guess I couldn't. Well, you don't gotta worry about it now. Black. I say as it, you say as it kicks me out <laughs> of the boat. That's a spirit gate. Yep. It has two little glowing dots, which means we need to kill another guardian. But... god damn it. <laughs> shortcut. Just as planned, right? Yeah. In fact, extra shortcut. Ow. Whack. I forgot it's they took the Look, another thing we can't open. There's a seal down in the water. Yep, but this is not one we have yet. Okay, what the fuck are you? Do you see the color of that pit down there? Several colors. Indeed. Yeah, we can't really do much with that yet, because it just leads right back up or to somewhere we can't do much at, so... Um... What was that cross world gate in... North Mythology? Wait, was it North? Yeah. Uh... Hang on, hang on. The Rainbow... The, the Rainbow Bridge, I forget its name. Yep. Bifrost Bridge. Yep. The Bifrost. Wee! Oh boy. Immortal Battlefield. Stakes might have been made. It's me! <laughs> I'm at the Immortal Battlefield. I spotted a somewhat suspicious pair. An old guy with glasses and an old guy with a hat. I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. I thought she was being sarcastic or not. Ran, tablet! Oh shit, I thought I had read that. Whoops. Nope. Well, well Marcos Oki research papers. 
That's a um, layer problem. Feel free to bust me if you actually want to read that. <laughs> a hole in the ground may well exist for a spear to pierce. Oh shit, I shouldn't have jumped down. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. By the way, you got a message. Yup. So there's a switch in the hole in the floor, huh? Let me just stick your hand in there and flip it. If your hand can't reach, maybe try drawing something in to flip it for you. Eh, that's some top notch advice right there. Indeed. So, guess what's right up here? Mm, I wonder. The earth here. It's actually more useful now. You can throw it sideways, and upwards, or downwards. Yeah, that definitely makes it more useful. Technically, you can also press those switches with the rolling shuriken. But that's not what you're supposed to do. Pretty much. Whack. Especially since it's entirely possible to get here before you get the rolling shuriken. Anyway, welcome to the land of human war. Where battle over a ring of water continues without end, this land will open itself when the ring of water is revived. Not ominous at all. I'm not going. I'm not going to the right just yet. It's a little wet over there. That's a word for it. What the fuck are you? Oh, you mean that guy? Yeah, that little shit. El Baul. Soldiers of the Loca Pana race of oh the my six children. Oh boy. <laughs> Created solely for the purpose of fighting, they are not very intelligent. They make up for this by summoning allies when an enemy is spotted. Attacking in full force, they guard the central area of the immortal battlefield. Stronghold of the Loca Pana. So that race that was mentioned a couple times in the first game. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I forgot to read that down there. Hello, shit. Two sigils lie hidden within falling weather. One seals the shape of life. Hmm. This prince actually... F12. That size is a... Saves it on testing thing, so it's easier. I'm gonna kill that thing for the glossary. <coughs> yes, may well. Lycanthropes. Half human, half beast lycanthropes are known as werewolves. That that changes back to human does not exist in Iglana. They are pure werewolves. They are extremely active and energetic. They also chop our spears. How convenient. Yep. It's almost like we're going to need some of those, speaking of which. There. Yeah, we need them also. Hello there. Cubera. This place is run by the Locapala. The six children who aim to take control of Eglana itself. They've taken control of Yggdrasil. Watch out for their lookouts. Get found and they will gather their bodies to deal with you. No, I'm fine. Very well. It must suck to have the, these people's jobs. All they do is stand there and they say, and they get like a couple things to say to people. One of the local Bala, who once fought as a guardian of treasure, he's highly intelligent. He became highly he became egotistical and distanced himself from his kind. Inventor of Vimana and Chakram. We know one of those names. Yeah. At least it's... they're not all little shits. Yeah. Well, it says enough that the uh, egocentric, uh, high intelligent one that distances himself because he saw the other ones as inferior <laughs> is one of the few that isn't a little shit. I mean, Tim. G, who seek to bear, to bear the Gale Fibula, must first pass the, the spear bereft beast. Only then shall do, you dash like the wind incarnate. Your human potential unlocked. 
Gee, I wonder what's in there. Choo choo. The spear bereft beast, huh? So jump. God damn it. Oh. I'll be back there. Let's go here. Also, how do you how do we get the guy we just saw and Tim from those things? I mean, I guess they have like actually okay. Pilot the six children. Hmm. Do I need to go back to Anovin and all the way back down? Actually, maybe I can. This list somewhere else entirely. Those who seek the Golden King must first obtain the power to cling to walls. Oh boy, there's a Golden King! Hmm. There's an awful lot of those darn trap, uh, false doors. Mm -hmm. I am Buluspa the Seer. I am one of the few remaining Alpha. My powers of premonition are no more. And now I simply await for the end. The Guardian controlling Anufin prevents us from carrying out our plans. The Fairy King's powers are also waning. Please, go speak with Dufrey, the Fairy King. I'm oh, fine. And I use this right there, so... What's here? A place we can't go to. <laughs> yep. Just gonna take a shortcut. Shortcut. Yeah. Don't care. So, speaking of which, I think. That actually led right over here. Yep. I see you. I see you, floor trap. <laughs> and you can actually see that one. Hmm. Either way. Sort of, yeah. Now we actually made a shortcut. That's convenient. But yeah, we don't have that seed either, so nope. I'm just gonna go down this one. That delayed reaction on his part. Yeah, you kind of taken a bit of damage. Yeah, just a bit. But yeah, th he's the um, the guardian of the uh, uh, Bifrost. What was his name again? Uh, uh, we get a glossary for him. Yeah, yeah, we get a glossary for him anyway. So. Yep, he did just spew fire at me. Anyway, that's over. Kill Fibula. It's equipped automatically. Whack. Hey, it's a grenade. Quish. Yeah, you have to actually remember to unequip it. I'll never forget what my pup told me on his deathbed. When the cat is away, the mice will say, Now you get yours! Well, I guess I got mine. But yeah, that basically introduces you to the fact that you can just unequip things now, at least the parts unequip <laughs> items. So, you know, that whole set of items. Fun. You might want to re equip it though? Oh, okay. That one isn't actually fast enough to. Not like it matters since we're going back to heal anyway. Seriously. Yeah, I went through get through great great pines to to show off what that did. It was totally on purpose, guys. 
<laughs> Do you take damage for running into stuff? Uh, like into walls and stuff? No, but you know, you can still... Okay. You can still run into traps and stuff by... Well, yeah. Yeah. Anyway... Boom! Back to the Divine Fortress. Four fairies live on within Yggdrasil. Their power will be revealed to those who obtain the Fairy King's grace. The light of the fairies will summon a door. Hello, you. Yeah, how are you? Dark Elf. Yep. A fairy f fallen into darkness, she's able to use storm-based magic. Dark Alfar was one of the Alfar, but put under a curse by the Vanir so that they might make, make use of her talents in battle. Mm-hmm. Hey, then. This is the one place where you can actually find a fairy before Frey gets it transferred to you. Though she will only appear once before that. Hmm. And she has that they say. Cell line, line. Technically, I kind of made a mistake because I didn't remember where this was. But if you find her here before Frey grants you the power, she will apologize for not speaking afterwards. <laughs> the soul gate is sealed by the souls of those who kept keep guard. Extinguish the lights of souls etched above the gate. Offer as many guardians lives as lights, then lo, the gates shall open. Oh yeah, I should probably go open that seal, huh? Probably a good idea. Do we have enough for this? Yes, we do. So that's something else entirely. It's an egg jewel! So wonderful. So, hey, that's a gate up there. I know. Also. Hey, Tree, who are you? You have no place here. Get out! I assume they think they're blacksmiths, but with that lazy arm movement, ugh. One of the Ened tribe of the fifth children. Walker hated his family and now lives in the Divine Fortress. A genius of smithing, he created many artifacts, though he is not one to be depicted on. No oh, shit. The younger brother of the genius smithing duo. He appears to be slightly more reasonable than his brother, but still has no interest outside in making things. Mm-hmm. But didn't we have another... Oh, yeah. Vos... Vol... Ah! Vospa. Voluspa? Cirrus... Mm -hmm. The powers of foresight that are rare even among fairies. It was her prophecy that spurred the Alpha into rebelling against the Mother. The prophecy was told in a roundabout, convoluted way to avoid hints of mutiny. The prophecy seems to have spread to the various races in this distorted form. So yeah, she's the one who wrote, who made those. Huh. We could go here and... Oh yeah, there is something there. That looks like no fun. I'm so oh, glad I managed to get her, she's so annoying to kill normally. HP3, so Demi just barely enough to one shot with the knife. <laughs> Demigoddesses who gather the spirits of the Ainya. Powerful warriors who are summoned at the Valkyrie's command. It is said that Valkyries who have made great achievements are elevated to an even higher state of existence. Not something you want to fight against either. Indeed, because she. Remember when it's when it said that the in her yard that are red are invincible? 
Yeah. She just shoots red, red versions of them. Fun. In Malhalla, there is a point of poisoned water. The Vanir sunk their treasure in its tainted depths. You have any idea how little that narrows it down? Well, it said Valhalla specifically. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Uh, we can't really keep going here, so... Let's just read this first. We were passed, passed down by a local palace age. Our hidden treasure that allows one to escape that but once. If you seek it, you must make the climb by Odin's side. Keep the deity's words on your lips as you make for the great god. Hmm. That's one of the few I'm probably gonna have to look up so I can remember what it was. But, back to the divine fortress. There is one thing I wanted to show before I completely forgot about it and became too late. Whenever one... Whenever I really activated that thing, did we? There's a ship there. It cannot be reached by your feet, turn back. It couldn't be reached by my feet, turn back. Careful, your toes don't get pinched. You don't want to end up like me. Also, trying my best not to hit the ship because there's an either. Yep. Yeah, we can't really get that just yet. We'll probably soon. First, there was something else I wanted to show in this direction. Well, a couple something else's. First, we There's a shop in here, but we can't really open it. Valhalla, where the souls of warriors gather, where there are twelve thrones, rafters of spear shafts, and a roof touched of shields. Sounds like Norse uh, architecture. Well, yeah, it's Valhalla. I was making a crack at the fact that it's Valhalla, but okay. Fair enough. Who, like, who else would make their, who else would make their roof out of spears and shields? Sure, God. Like, other than Vikings. Right. We did open Tade before with the thingy of the... Oh, my one, fucker. Yeah. Also, point. Welcome to Valhalla! Thank you, God. This is the fortress of the Vanir who, def who defied the Aesir, who sought to destroy Yggdrasil. The Calamity Vritra is sealed here until the day comes for the end. Hey, check that dragon emblem. Yep. Pretty nice emblem, huh? Also, uh, um, eh? you see that there's uh, there's something hanging there from the wall. Yeah. Another I'm a professional speedrunning exploration extraordinaire. You won't catch me wasting time examining rocks. Well, unless we're talking about my grave. Yeesh. Might as well examine the hell out of it. I mean, I did examine his grave. Baku... What? Baku Kquips. Oh boy. A subspecies of giant that is unclear as to which race Baku Kquix is born to. He was captured by the Vanir to be used for the purpose of exterminating intruders. His body is made of gold and silver and his form is both bird-like and insect-like. He has two sons, Havrakan and Zipakna. These brothers must be killed before Z Vaku Kikwix himself can be destroyed. Thank you for oh, pulling boy. in the effort, sweetie. <laughs> That's I get tongue-tied real easy sometimes. Understandable. 
Especially with funky words. Mom. Oh, so I'll that thing. A rakshasa. 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 I know the word, okay? Well done. A spirit of the natural world defiled by the chaos of Eglana. The Vanir feared them and called them devils. The Raksha. The Rakshasa are aggressive and breathe fire, roasting their energies before feeding on them. Yep. This ain't exactly a uh, Valhalla as we come to know it. <laughs> you could say so. There are hidden means of binding to an ankh. The fate of those who bury their soul within an ankh is tied to the Scardian. Hmm. So. You notice something strange there? This is Valhalla, where the souls of those fallen in battle are gathered. That Holy Grail tablet is colored differently. Since it isn't a regular Holy Grail tablet, I don't think it will be recorded to the Holy Grail. There was something similar in La Mulana. If you've got some sort of game I've loaded up, apparently you can tweak the frequency to record to the Holy Grail. To think that something made recently would operate at the same frequency as another mid-centuries ago is pretty much a miracle. Yep, we're in the backside! Also, we've returned. Yeah, right? that fucking makes sense. Kanara. The Kanara is a monster with the upper body of a woman and lower body of a bird. Originally, they had a quiet temperament with an appreciation of music. Tensions within the race have turned them violent, and they use sound as a weapon. Hmm. Also, are we going to acknowledge that thing? You know, I was trying not to. Carbunko. Carbunko look like an ear of corn that has sprouted legs. They aren't quick, but have, a, well, have extremely tough bodies. It takes a while to bring one down. It is said their bodies are hardened to guard the gold at their center. HP, 6. They do drop coins. And what, no corny jokes to go with that one? They are rather corny, aren't they? Cast a spear that penetrates the air through the hole that runs through it. Yeah, I see it, game. Thing. Um, Alright, I got yeah, onto the wall. I mean, uh, rather, yeah. There we go. Vaga. There were once three machines which came to us six children from the sky. They were named Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. One of those three is colored. Shiva and Vishnu. Weapons with the power to burn entire cities will render useless to win the war. Brahma alone, watching over the world from above, was taken away by, by beings who came from the skies. It is said that Brahma possesses all information on Eglana. Nebura, what? Oh god. Nebura is a girl who runs a computer shop in the village. At first glance, she seems cute and well-mannered, but she can lose her temper at the drop of a hat, slinging foul utterances at her customers. Don't even think about the touching the thing she holds in her arms. Yeah, that thing she holds in her arms. <laughs> Race, ancient. Also, do you notice something else that's strange in this room? Yeah, whatever the fuck that thing is by the vase over there. We've seen it before. Also, that, that's have. closed, but had a peek of that motherfucker. I'm not angry, you're angry. Hello, Trickster, how have you been? Oh, there it is. And he, he left right on off. And he left a trail of blood for, for us to follow him. Mind the Rakshas stuff. Yeah, that's why I waited for him to turn around. Also, there's a red thingy here. That means it's one you have to scan. Hmm. Galangra. Survivor of the Ashura race of the six children who were eradicated long ago. 
The Asura were a warrior tribe who used a secret art to give themselves extra arms for holding more weapons. Even among these warriors, Jalandra was the most feared, to the point that he had, that the Vanir who attempted to utilize his power were resigned to locking him away. I am not sure looking forward to that. So yeah, what about you? What? What? Don't... What? You're not looking forward to dealing with Asura's wrath? You could say so, yes. <laughs> I had to make the joke. Of course you do. Damn it. There we go. We can't really do anything with that yet, but I figured I might as well unlock it. This way. Not get hit. Yeah, that too. That's a bit difficult with the Walking Corn, though. The blue eyes protects Jigrasi. It levels divine punishment against those who turn to harm the Holy Lands. The red eye protects Jigrasi. It levels divine reckoning against those pitiful few who ransack these lands. Oh look, a golden thingy, and another boost of Mimir. I haven't killed you yet, damn it, I can get, but first, Ushan, do you know about mantras? Be at a hidden relic known as the Jet Pillar, a mantra turns words containing power into power itself. Incant the Himin mantra representing heaven in front of the boost of Mimir, here is this room here in this room, and the path leading up above will appear. There are a lot of similar mechanisms here in Eglana, that are sealed by mantra. Thanks, I guess. So much glossaries. Gandharv, a warrior of the Lokopala. Originally a half-human, half-beast monster with an appreciation of music, now he's been fitted with mechanical wings and fights with the power of sound. And then Pushan, a sage responsible for animals, mainly livestock, a divanir. He seems largely uninterested in his race's goals. He is content as long as he can live with his animals and provide for himself. So, yeah. Hey then, talk about, talk about being a chill motherfucker. Yep. Well, first of all, a bracket. That, that bloody gate. Do you know what it is, Elder? That's a big old nope. Shut it, Grams. We're going to see now. <laughs> Apparently, it's called the Corridor of Blood. Try checking it out with the scanner. There should be some kind of information on it. Elena ruins the chari, Corridor of Blood. A corridor is said to awaken upon drinking the blood of the mighty. It is not known where the corridor leads. We'll get to that later. Do not approach the corridor of blood. Doing so will invite the end. Those who break the corridor of blood will be exiled to the land that is not. Hmm. The gold-plated giant Book of Kakex. Is protected by his two sons, the brothers Sipagna and Kavrakan. He will be awakened when their lives are spent. Oh yeah, speaking of which... Kavrakan. The second son of the giant monster Vaku Kekwix. Like his father, Kavrakan's body is made of gold. He commands unbelievable strength, smashing up stone and flooring to toss at you. And we kinda killed, it, killed him too quick for that. Well, we can go up here and... Oh, hello, you. I think I found him. I don't know. What is Loki's goal? The soul of the tree state of Yggdrasil is headed towards B Britra Sank. Britra is not yet at full power. Bridra has not yet awakened, 
when the pitch black flames engulf this land, the end of the world will begin. Stop Britra and the trickster of Yggdrasil. No, oh, like, okay. no like we can get there just yet. But hey, more glossary! For us, for Spocky. Leader of the Vanir who claim he is the creator of the universe. He is so enlightened that he has lost faith in the world and refuses to speak to anyone. Well, there went that. He leaves his plan simply believing the end of the world will bring true justice. Well, you know, and yet, he... He just, and yet he just told us to stop it from happening. Yep. Ow. Ow. Found you. Pakna. The eldest son of the giant monster of Akukekuk. Like his father, Zapuk's body is made of gold. He finds unbelievable strength, smashing up stone and flooring the toss at you. Yeah, how did that go for him? There. Well, I mostly wanted to get here. Bargain Duke! The fuck? You look really tough. Go ahead, buy some stuff. I'm buying some stuff indeed! I had just barely enough to... No, no, no. no. Let me read that. There are two stone tablets that respond to the holy chalice. The waves that wear the chalice's power will lead you to the black stone tablet. The thing we literally just bought! Figures. Whoops, I should probably switch that. But yeah, going down. Hmm, how about that? Mm hmm. So. Now it might be time to leave. Yup, it is. Also, yeah. what the fuck's a bargain duck? Excellent question. A duck who became intelligent through the influence of the ruins. He looks up to humans and dreams of being the follower of a strong individual, but he doesn't intend to leave his shop either. What a quack pot. Drive. Duck. Truck. Duck. Race. race bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Also, and that guy. Vaga. Involved with gigantic, terrible weapons, Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. They existed long ago. At the time, he was blinded in an accident. Though he has retired, he is probably still the most knowledgeable regarding these, these giant weapons. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go here. Keep and a guide instruction. I hope you'll have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.